lovely. Um, yeah. So getting back in the sink of doing my live videos has been a challenge. Um, and you have to excuse my unmade bed behind you washing laundry today. Um, but I am doing what I can and how I can. And that's kind of a little bit about what this video is going to share with you today, just because I'm in a season and I want to continue to share this season with you guys, um, as much as I can to help you and inspire you and push you because as we know, life throws us curveballs, um, and they're not always easy and they're not always pretty. As you know, a curveball it, it curves and turns right before you, right when you swing and man, you either miss, you fall on your face or you just get lucky and you hit it. So hi, for those of you who don't know me and who are new to my page, because I have so many new followers, welcome. Um, I am so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you to, um, just hit like and learn more about me. Um, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a professional. I'm not um, anybody who has it all together. I am just learning as I go and I'm sharing my journey as I go because I really um, believe that God has given me um, a purpose to share this journey. And when I title it um, A Thin Line, and what I mean by that is a thin line of what to share right now and what not to share. Um, as you know, a lot of people have a hard time speaking out about the ugly side of what's going on in their life. You know, social media is so much known for the pretty and the fun and the smiles. And, you know, it's almost like to tease us and make a lot of us jealous of really what's going on in our, in our life, other people's lives. And I really wholeheartedly believe that God has put this on me to share the uglier side because so many people out there are going through something and need help and need somebody to speak into their lives and share that share that side because it's not easy. So um, I've really been doing a lot of the back end work to really put some stuff out there for you all. Um, and the one reason I haven't been doing a lot of lives is because I'm still in my season and um, it's not easy and not every day is consistent for me because it's hard. But I do what I can when I can and that's kind of my whole purpose of telling you guys this today because if you do what you can when you can where you're at um, and just take one small step each day, you're going to start seeing changes. You're going to start seeing joy. You're going to start seeing happiness. You're going to start feeling better. You're going to feel more positive. Um, if you followed me at all, or you've looked back through any of my stuff, you will know that I've been talking a little bit more about relationships and, um, about a toxic relationship and about my marriage and different things like that. And when I say toxic relationship, Hi, I see you watching. I don't see names, so I can't welcome you, but um, thank you for being here. So when I talk about a toxic relationship, it doesn't mean that my husband abuse, abuses me. It doesn't mean my husband hits me. It doesn't mean my husband's straight out mean to me. What I'm referring to is we both are in an unhappy place. We both are struggling. We both are trying to work through a lot of things. And um, because of that, it has put us both in a place where we're very rocky and vulnerable and we're not exactly happy. So we have made the decision um, to move forward in our life at separate paths right now. It doesn't mean divorce, but it just means to heal ourselves because we do have a two-year-old child um, and he's our priority and we both live and come from broken homes and we don't want that for him. So why am I sharing this with you? Um, it's not easy. I'm not going to lie, but I know other people are struggling with this. Hi, hun. Are you not working? <laughs> Um, so I know other people are struggling with this and need help and need inspiration in this area. So, um, the last 2016 was tough for me. It was scary, was hard, was brutal. And, um, I just slowly started, um, taking those steps to take care of myself, whether it was just to get up and move and to try to eat better and to, um, make those things happen that were going to benefit me and my son because he needed his full-time mama. However, it wasn't consistency. I still had those mess ups. I still had those days. And as I'm coming to you live right now, um, I'm not the skinniest I've ever been. I'm not the healthiest I've ever been, but I am taking those steps. I've actually um, probably put on um, probably half the weight that I lost over the last year. And that's okay because seasons happen. And so what I want you to take away from this today is I don't care where you're at in your life. I don't care how happy you are, how depressed you are, how sad you are. You have to make that commitment and you finally have to just, people can come to you and say, 
you just got to take that step. You just got to make this change. And being in that depressed state and full of anxiety, um, I know it's not easy. It's easy to to think about it, but to actually get up and do it, no. People can preach it to us all day long, but where I finally had my breakthrough was I felt backed in a corner. I felt rock bottom. I felt the lowest I had ever felt in my entire life. And I knew that I had this special child who God had given me to full responsibility of that I had to take care of and that I had an obligation to my husband, my son, and myself. And nothing's going to change unless I change who I am. So I just, again, took one step. And you know what? One day I might have took one step and the next day it might have been 10 backwards. But I still took a step because I know without a doubt that I have this greater purpose and that I want to be who I wanted to be, who I used to be, and that nothing was going to change unless I made those efforts. So no, I'm not asking you to openly share this on Facebook or to put it out there for the world. That's what I'm doing for you. But I am asking you, if you're in that place, if you need that help, if you need somebody just to talk to, to open up to, um, or you're just struggling with, you know, even getting started, reach out for help. I may not be that person for you, but I would love to help you find that person. You never know who is going to um, be able to help you out of that dark spot, who's going to help you um, overcome those obstacles that you're facing. Oh, now my little brother's watching. This is awkward. Um, hi, Caleb. So anyways, just know that um, you have to have help. You cannot go through anything dark alone because if you're in the dark and you're trying to go through it alone, that just opens doors for Satan to keep attacking you and to keep um, putting you down further and further. And it's not easy. It's not easy to share <laughs> the sad and the hurtful things in your life. Man. But I want you to know that when you reach out for help and you start talking about it and you make those efforts, good things start to happen. No, I don't want to have to move um, home. No, I don't want to have to be separated from my husband. But you know what? It's a season. And it's a season for me to heal and to um, make things better and work towards that. So I just share this with you guys because I want that for you. So whoever's out there needs help and this can help, please reach out to somebody. Don't go it alone anymore. Um... Anyways, that was my point today. I didn't intend to cry, you guys. So just know that um, there's help and just reach for it, okay, you guys? Um, don't go at it alone. And I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.